What's up peeps? 15 orders going out today. Nearly all of them bundles and some really good sales in amongst it. But before we go into those 15 orders, um, after yesterday's video finished, you'll have seen there was one we edit because I've got another bundle of Stephen King, you know, those popular authors going out. But pretty shortly after that, um, there was another two Bernard Cornwall sales. So I'm going to mention them for couple of reasons. First one is just to show you what's sold. Uh, the second is I mentioned that I can go weeks sometimes without selling a particular author and then they go in a flurry and that's certainly been the case with Bernard Cornwell over the last couple of days. So we did have one bundle going out and then we also had an additional single book sale of The Bloody Ground which will be somewhere around here. Uh, that sold for 7 99 and then we had a bundle of 10 books going out. Uh, a nice wee mixed bag that sold for £21.09. So as usual, it's a good value order for me because it's one parcel. I make my money on it and somebody's getting a really good deal, you know, £2.10 per book for 10 books. And again, that'll be up there somewhere just to let you see some of what that order was so that's that's it make sure you're seeing what sells and you know that thing about when a listing gets a bit of uh, history on ebay then it begins to sell when you put together so that's they've all sold from one listing pretty much um which means that for one view there's been 10 sales and eBay sees that as a good conversion rate. So therefore, if people are looking for Bernard Cornwell, they're more likely to rank that listing because it has a high um, sell-through rate on it. I think that's part of, how, part of how the algorithm works. So it's again, if you've got a listing that's got a bit of history, make sure it doesn't die. When you browse for books or your listing books, you'll see occasionally there's a title usually from a big seller that's priced at like £79 or £99 or something ridiculous that people are never, ever, ever going to pay. What I think that means is that they've got, the, their stock levels of that particular book have dropped below a certain point. Maybe they've got one left, maybe they've got five left, whatever that point might be. And they don't want that listing to die. They don't want to have to start a new listing on that title because it's got history. It's got, you know, a good standing in the ebay algorithm so when they get down to the last however many copies the price gets bumped up so nobody will buy them until they can get those stock levels back up and that listing will then be able to price normally and keep selling successfully as it has done i think that might be how that works and operates um, i've had successful listings in the past and somebody's bought every book in it and then when i've restarted it and i've got more it's not been the same and it's taking time to get back to the same kind of level of activity on it so I think that might be something to do with that so something to keep in mind if you've got something that's been really well doing really well make sure it doesn't die do what you can to keep it up there anyway let's move on with the the current sales shall we right loads of bundles but the first one is just a little single paperback on its own Robert Robert Galbraith Troubled Blood in really good condition and at £7.84 so a nice wee start to the day so as it was, a £7.84 single book. Now, when a listing gets a bit of friction and starts moving, you sell more of them. So the second sale was another load from that same listing. More Robert Galbraith, another copy of Troubled Blood, Cuckoo's Calling and Career of Evil. So again, a nice wee three book sale. £11.69 for the three of those so enjoy them Mark right next a repeat buyer uh, where are these going to KY4 so we have first editions a bundle of first editions a bundle of David Williams first editions so typically David Williams, first editions, I list them at eight pounds. It's usually about four quid for a normal hardcover, uh, but if it's a first edition, it's eight pounds because they're 
they're not uncommon but they ain't common either if that makes sense so we've got awful ante the midnight gang slime demon dentist and gangster granny strikes again all in good condition well very good condition really and even though they are I sell them for a higher price they still come as part of the discount so 27.99 was the total paid for those five books which is a good wee return on them David Williams hardcover first editions woo uh, another bundle so again I sold a few of these lately none for a while and then a few all in a wee hurry and it's Santa Montefiore so women's fiction some of these authors sell brilliantly and this is one that sells quite well so we've got Secrets of the Lighthouse Sea of Lost Love in paperback and Sea of Lost Love in hardcover so I'm not entirely sure what the thinking is behind that somebody's collecting them, somebody likes them whatever it might be but Elaine, they're on their way to you right next time okay doc so, Davy, obviously a viewer, a watcher of these videos, uh, so a wee message from Davy there, looking forward to seeing these on your channel update, so now you get to see them, this is what Davy bought and what he paid for them, and it's a bundle of James Herbert, so we've got two BCA hardcovers, Creed and what's that one called again? Nobody True. So we've got those two. And then three big normal size hard covers, which is The Ghosts of Sleeth. I really like that cover. Let's see, it's, it's lovely. Um, the Secret of Crickley Hall. Okay, nice condition. And rah, once. So that was a bundle of five James Herbert hardcovers and they have sold for £16.74. So enjoy them, Davy. Next, another bundle. Reach across, find these, and we have five Lee Child. So, do you know Lee Child sells? You price them right they will just fly out the door very popular ether, ether author at the moment uh, in this case we've got echo burning a wanted man past tense killing floor and the affair so five of those sold for 14 pounds 49 Heading off to Michelle. Right. One wee book in its own. Another Agatha Christie, The Third Girl. Uh, one of the new books that I picked up in a big lot. And that sold for £6.99. The Agatha Christie books have not disappointed at all. Right. The next one up on my order screen isn't actually going out. So I won't show you it. But I'm going to mention it. Because there was a question in the comments from yesterday's video about this very thing so it was harry potter and the deathly hallows first edition with the adult cover you know the they did after a while we started in two different covers because there were so many grown-ups reading these books um i'd had a load of items that were being watched so every now and again i don't do it regularly but every now and again i'll just send out a 10 percent off offer to all the watchers and see what happens and sometimes i'll get a, a wee stack of sales in from that Sometimes I get one or two. Uh, in this instance, I've actually had a few, but I'll show you some of them in a wee while. Um, but with this one, the person that I sent it to accepted the offer. And then I very quickly got a message from them saying, oh, I thought that was somebody making an offer on my book that I'm selling, so can you please cancel it? Which obviously I did. But it's something that I have suspected because I occasionally do it myself, is a lot of the watchers you'll have on especially your more unusual items are possibly quite possibly watching it because 
they've got one of their own and I want to see how others sell so that they can get an idea whether or not they're pricing correctly or whatever that may be. So I think that's what's happened. Well, I know that's what's happened with that one. I think quite a few of the watched items that are always there and nobody ever bites at the offers are people watching them because they have their own items to sell or they've got a curiosity about it rather than them actually wanting to buy it. The cat is climbing inside my post bag. Strange animals. Anyway, let's move on to books that I've actually sold. Next, another bundle. Colleen Hoover, who again has been very popular lately. Uh, we've got Ugly Love, Verity, and Reminders of Him. Um, these sold for £9.99. So, another bundle. Always bundles, bundles, bundles. Right, want a, a slightly more unusual sale. John Patrick Byrne, A Big Adventure. So this has come from Glasgow Museums. Uh, I'm assuming there was an exhibition of his work. And this is the kind of souvenir book that goes along with it. Uh, I picked this up because I like the look of the cover. I thought it might be something a bit different. Not worth a huge amount of money. and uh, I, I did think this would probably sit for months and months and months. And maybe somebody would end up buying it as a kind of gift piece as it goes along. But it did actually sell quite quickly, within a couple of weeks, for £7.99. So that one was a bit different. Well, looks like the cat might be joining me at the table. Right, next. More Wee Child. Two hardcovers this time. And they sold for £12. So hardcovers, charge a bit more. We've got postage. Blah, blah, blah. Always popular is Mr. Lee Child. Pick him up, pick him up whenever you see them. Right. Susan, you've ordered a bundle of Jacqueline Wilson books. Right, so I had loads of Jacqueline Wilson sitting for possibly months before any sold. And then they started and they've been pretty consistent ever since. One or two bundles of these every week. You may have noticed if you're watching these. Um, worst thing about my sister, best friends, candy floss, the butterfly club, and the Lottie project, and they sold for eleven pounds forty nine. So definitely another good author to look out for because you tend to find them in kids sections where potentially you'll get them a bit cheaper than you would if they were grown up books. If that makes any sense, so. Bit worth picking up in good condition. Be patient though, they will sell. 11.49. Right. Yeah. Okay, doc. That's for you, Angela. That's what you asked for. Give us a wave tomorrow because Angela has bought a cracking new bundle of books. Uh, five. Nice mixed bundle. We have Donna Tarts, The Little Friend, Salman Rushdie, Midnight Children, Daphne de Maurier, Jamaica Inn, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark, and Martin Pugh's State and Society. So five really nice books, uh, and a cracking mixed bundle, which sold for. Where are we? Right, my page has just jumped. That was slightly annoying. Do, 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 do. £13.89. So, you know, five good books, £13.89, heading off to Angela. So, yay! Thank you, Angela. Let's stick them over there. Right. More. Lee Child. We've got Echo Burning and 61 Hours. Two paperbacks, £9.84. So, Lee Child, let us say, if you can find them, you will sell them. Right, the next is a big order. And it's kind of come through in dribs and drabs. Uh, it's... I need to 
need to, I actually need to refund some postage on this one, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet today, but I shall. Um, we've got, let's just find the right end of this selection. So, first lot. Sean Hudson, Hudson, Houston, Hudson, Necessary Evil, Clive Kings, Stig of the Dump, The Book of the Movie, Stallone's Judge Dredd, Beautiful Wee Charlotte's Web, 50th Anniversary Hardcover, The Penguin Book of Horror Stories, nice big comp compilation compendium. Uh, we've got another James Herbert going out here. Others, BCA hardcover. We've got a Roald Dahl compendium compilation. Um, so five bestsellers, including over 40 tales of the unexpected, complete and unabridged. So it's these kind of grown-up thrillers. Kiss Kiss, over to you. Switch Bitch, Someone Like You. Four Tales of the Unexpected and My Uncle Oswald. Right. We also have another James Herbert, Sepulchre. The Magic Cottage. And a James Herbert compendium compilation, which is The Rats, The Dark and Fluke. I used to read James Herbert when I was younger. I haven't read him for years, to be honest. But I always remember The Dark. Scared me. Um, so, some of the prices on these... Uh, there was seven of those books going out in a bundle for thirty six forty nine. Judge Dredd went for eight pounds, and the Penguin Book of Horror and Stig of the Dump went for nine pounds fifty. But that's not the end of this order, because the same buyer has also come in and bought a whole load of my antique vintage books. And it's the stack of Dennis Wheatley. They weren't sold as a stack, they were sold individually, but a big stack of Dennis Wheatley books. So we've got The Eunuch of Stambul, which went for, let's see if I can find these individually as we go. It's here somewhere. Fiverr. Dangerous Inheritance, which went for £16. The Quest of Julian Day, which sold for £8. The Island Where Time Stands Still, which sold for £8 again. And finally, let's just find it, The Irish Witch, which sold for £12. So a really good order, all of that lot there. Thank you very much. Kevin, for your business, if you watch the videos, if you don't, thank you anyway. Uh, crack an order. I'm really happy to get them all out and they'll get packed up snugly because a lot of these are old editions that I don't want damaged into a nice big box. And we've got one more order. Let's move these. Move these ones out the way. Right, the last order, which just came in before I started uh, recording actually, is. Wordsworth. Wordsworth's Poetical Works. So, beautiful book. Still got the gold leaf around the edge in. Uh, leather bound. Um, do, 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 do we have a date on it? Let's see if I can find a date on it. 1904. So, 120 years old. Still in lovely condition. It's, to be honest, it looks like it's unread condition. So, you know, people all have had these books because they sit in the library um, and it's sat in somebody's library for a lot of years. It must have been handed down through a couple of generations or somebody's just bought it and added it to their collection. But that sold for £20.19. So, a, a kind of small amount of money considering the, the age of the book and the rest of it. But, you know, they're not ridiculously rare. There's lots of different editions. Uh, so that one, it got a good price, I think. 
20 pounds and 19 pence and that's including postage and that i think is us we have no more sales so a good day of sales quite a lot of value in that there uh, about 300 quid for all of those um, as usual just on that rough approximation of profit a third to eBay a third in postage and a third in profit so about £100 profit for the day probably going to be a wee bit more than that because there was a couple of big bundles there where the postage will come down um, but I do have to refund some postage on that last order because a few of them went through as individual items so I need to refund postage on some of those so that maybe knock a wee tenner off the, the overalls but a good day of sales uh, hopefully this will continue it's been a couple of good days in a row make some money everybody gets to pay their bills and yeah that's it for today uh, thanks very much for watching probably be a wee bit of a haul video tomorrow because I'm planning on going out in the morning assuming the hurricane hasn't arrived and shut all the roads by blowing down the trees uh, I'll be going out to see what I can pick up in the morning and maybe share a wee bit of that with you tomorrow afternoon if there's anything interesting so I'll see you then love you see you bye